got loaded with the suicide coil. It's called suicide because it can roll towards the driver, you're braking, and then it's a suicide. Well, I cannot understand why people want to destroy everything. So my curtain slides here in this crevice, which is okay, but if you look up, some of these drops are sticking out. Wind was so strong that I had to keep my steering wheel really far to the left just to keep my truck going straight. Arrived to my address that broker provided, turns out this is the wrong address. Good morning everyone. It is 5.30 a.m. and I'm waiting for my Uber. I'm going to the parking lot to finish my delivery to Indiana. Very early in the morning we have a high 20 degrees but luckily no wind so it feels okay. Good thing that my lift got cheaper than initial quote I received. Originally they quoted me almost $100, now it's like $47, which is okay. At least my wife doesn't have to wake up with the kid to deliver me to the parking lot. I'm gonna have some time to work on my phone, to answer to some messages, to plan my trip, etc. Let's go. Have a good one. Bye bye. Thank you. look good, lights look good, ready to go. Uber driver was super nice guy, it was a good conversation about trucking for the most part. Basically everything I'm telling to you here, I told to an Uber guy. It's like I'm gonna arrive in Waterloo, Indiana by 10.30, which is still a little later than I wanted. Hopefully everything will be good. We'll pick up something else today. Just made it to the facility in Indiana. It was a lovely three hour drive. A little muddy in here, but not too bad. I'm just gonna have to go there, next to the light, and it's gonna show me which lane they're gonna unload me in. I'm empty now, but this wonderful lava rock is all over my trailer. The worst part is if it's gonna get into this crevice, then it's gonna be in the way of my rollers. It has to be super clean and probably even lubricated. So I need to clean it now. I'm a professional driver, so I don't have a broom, but I do have a snow brush. It's meant for snow on the windshield, but let's see if it's gonna do the job. I guess it's 
it's okay. Filming for Queen Curse. here with the CB radio. It's so challenging for me to understand what they're saying. It's like English is hard enough for me already and when they make me use the radio it's like so much more confusing but looks like I got it. Let's go check in. They have a nice restroom over there as well as a pretty big paved parking lot where drivers can stay overnight. It's awesome like that. loaded with a suicide coil it is called suicide because it can roll towards the driver during braking and then it's a suicide i have two chains already that i used uh, at the facility inside just to get out from there and not to make wait anybody now i'm going to install five more chains and i'll be ready to go they got mad at me inside because i didn't get fully prepared i mean everything was on trailer just i didn't I uh, set the coil rack all the way and they were ready for me like within a minute so yeah they got a little angry but nevertheless let's get to work By the time I finished install chains on the coil, so I got seven chains. So I've got four binders on this side and three binders on the other side. So it's just a little easier to access and to tighten chains while I'm gonna be going. Good thing about having a Kone Stoga is that I can just open up my front door and go inside to check how tight my chain is. If this would be a regular flatbed, then I would have to untarp at least a little bit to have access to my binders. So that's convenient. It should be good enough for the first time. I don't think it's going anywhere. So we're taking this coil to a Green Bay, Wisconsin. Like six and a half hours drive from here. 
I think it's 400 miles, something like that. Broker pays for this load, I think $1,800, but I'm gonna check a little later. Um, from Wisconsin, we're gonna go tomorrow to St. Louis, and hopefully from St. Louis, I'm gonna go back to Chicago, because I have to be home on Thursday morning to run my errands, so this is gonna be a pretty short week, like three full days on that Thursday morning. Let's go. I just got weighed at cat scale at Love's truck stop to make sure that my weight on trailer is fine and I have 37,000 pounds on the trailer axle. Since they're spread I can have up to 40,000 pounds on my spread trail axle so I'm within a legal limit. But this is not a great weight distribution because my drive axle on the tractor are only 26,000 pounds, which means that my tractor is bouncing a lot when I'm driving on an uneven road. And it's just a little scary feeling. Uh, when I'm going over bumps, it feels like this coil may go somewhere. So I stop now and I'm going to check my chains to make sure they didn't lose or anything. Um, I can tighten them if I need to. Some of them can be tightened. Good thing that I stopped. The thing I like about Love's truck stop is they give unlimited refills. So I'm going to refill my half a gallon thermos with a free drink. Probably it's gonna be Arizona iced tea or something like that. And yeah, guys, I'm lazy. When I can, I just pull in straight. I don't wanna waste any time turning around like there's a clear space behind me. I can just back out. I just need to make sure that nobody is gonna be in my way. And yeah, especially when I park at night, I like to park this way, like head towards the forest or green area if possible, because it's much quieter, especially if you have somebody with a reefer trailer parked beside you. It's gonna be a better sleep quality. Such a beautiful day today. Gas price is 386 diesel 574. This is the end of November. I'm wondering what it's gonna be in the future. It's a flatbed with six trailers. They didn't have Arizona iced tea at this location. I got the Coke Zero. Still not bad. I have in total six hours left to go to the receiver location. I'm gonna drive today maybe five hours or so. I'll find some truck stop or rest area close to the receiver. Pretty easy day. Not too overwhelming. hour away from delivery next we're gonna have a pickup 
by 11 a.m. and then we're going to St. Louis, Missouri. Just checked in at this location. There's one truck in front of me. There he is parking right now. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Just need to open my trailer and remove most of my chains. I'm gonna leave two chains on for safety while I'm gonna be parking. And then I'll remove the other two once I'm inside so they can pick it up. The weird thing is that uh, Shepard instructions were that the coil must be no more than 23 feet from the rear of the trailer and it looks like in, the, in his case it can be too far and also it has to be suicide. Suicide means that it can roll towards uh, the cab. The way he has a coil, it doesn't seem to me right. As soon as the coil is lifted, the whole trailer goes up so high. No wonder, coil is 43,000 pounds. It's a uh, full load and a lot of available space on trailer, but I can't use it because I'm already too heavy. Let's go to White Lake, Wisconsin. Just checked in in White Lake, Wisconsin. I received the uh, loading instructions. I have to drive about a mile away to be loaded. Looks like they scheduled 13 trucks in total. I am the truck number 10, so there's quite some line. It's a pretty place. There is actual White Lake over there. You can really see it today, but nice countryside in Wisconsin. It may take several hours for my truck to get loaded just because of the line but they are supposed to pay the tension if it takes more than three hours so I don't mind to sit in truck and to get paid there's the white lake I'm 
gonna be picking up some kind of flooring for a sports surfaces, like a basketball court. I guess they have a big construction project of a new school or a college campus, something like that. Right, I got loaded now, took a little less than three hours in total, so no detention pay for me, but that's okay. I'm going to depart as soon as possible. We're gonna be going from uh, White Lake, Wisconsin to Chesterfield, Missouri, which is a suburb of St. Louis, Missouri. It's uh, 563 miles and a little less than nine hour drive. Broker pays for this load 1650, which is almost $3 a mile, not bad. This morning I woke up at a rest area in Illinois, close to uh, Springfield, which is two hour drive from my destination. I can't say too many nice things about this particular rest area. It's been neglected by the government also, by some vandals. Like, I don't understand why people want to destroy everything. It's sad to see when taxpayers' money are being used and then somebody comes and like scratches everything and tries to destroy it whatever anyways guys this rest area doesn't have much truck parking by the time i arrived here uh, it was all taken so all of these trucks you see on the side they are parked on the shoulder and i parked on the shoulder too actually i parked on the left side closer to highway first and then I realized if I would move here then it's gonna be quieter at least gonna get less noise from the highway so I'm right here on the shoulder next to the regular parking spot for a car and I'm just gonna have to go through this regular parking lot but I should have enough space there's sunrise coming. It is freezing cold this morning. Let's go and finish this delivery.
just delivered this load of sports floor into Chesterfield Sports Complex. This truck load should cover the entire basketball court. And I was told that they have at least 15 or 20 courts in here. So if you guys are gonna be here in Chesterfield, Missouri, and at this huge sparse center, then you know I delivered part of this floor in here. It feels cool to understand that you kinda participate in a big projects like this. Oh, weather is nice today. So I'm still waiting for my bus to find my next load and I'm gonna be heading back home to Chicago because I need to be in town tomorrow. just made it to my next pickup location, Berryville, Missouri. It's an hour away from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we're gonna be picking up pelletized rock and delivering it to uh, Sussex, Wisconsin, which is the suburb of Milwaukee. Broker pays for this load $12.50. For clip driver just got me. Um, broker pays for this load 1250 and uh, it's about 450 miles a little less than seven hour drive It's less than three dollars a mile, but it's fine because I need to be going that direction. So yeah, that's pretty good truckload of rocks now we're going to the scale to see how my weight looks like because they may take off something if it's already from my store they can add more These rocks are almost 46,000 pounds, but the worst thing about it is... You see how the pellet is fine? Like it's within my trailer limits. Where's the focus? So my curtain slides here in this crevice, which is okay. But if you look up, some of these rocks are sticking out. And uh, the forklift driver, he did his best to push these rocks back, but I don't think they're gonna be too stable during my journey. They may shift back and uh, maybe I will not be able to 
open it once I arrive. This is a risky load for a Conestoga trailer. It doesn't have to be tarped. It could have been just carried on a regular flatbed, but whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to try to use a bunch of straps to try to push these rocks towards the inside. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> like these ones. They're sticking out a lot. got a little easier after I installed all the straps to close my curtain went fine we'll see what's gonna be in Wisconsin now we have like six hours of driving left for today and just a little bit for tomorrow morning let's go Good morning everyone from a Love Truck Stop in Wisconsin. I'm one hour away from my drop-off location. It's been freezing cold tonight, like 10 to 15 degrees. And it was also super windy yesterday evening while I was driving, like my truck couldn't keep 72 miles an hour, the speed I usually do on a cruise control. It was usually going like 68 miles per hour. Sometimes even slow and more on an uphill, but anyway, I made it. Wind was so strong that I had to keep my steering wheel really far to the left just to keep my truck going straight, if that makes any sense. Also, the fuel consumption was horrible. Usually I do between like 6.8 to 7.2 miles per gallon. Yesterday it was showing to me that my fuel consumption was 5.7 gallon, like 20% difference just because of wind. So, this morning I got a small gift for my nephew that I'm gonna send over to Ukraine. Beautiful classic truck. It's a Peterbilt. Yay! I think he's gonna like it. It is freezing cold, but at least it's dry. I'm glad there is no snow or ice or anything. I'm just hoping to finish my delivery as soon as possible and then be done with it for the rest of the weekend. Let's go. Arrived to my address that broker provided. Turns out this is their own address. I have to drive like a little further away. They gave me a map. Yeah, I think I figured it out.
finally made it. So fun to see the quarry in operation, like how they grind in stones and everything. It's interesting. <laughs> how cool it is. parking lot in Chicago now. I'm running a little late because I booked a car on Turo, which I wanted to check out. Um, I'm considering switching my main car to buy something different and the car I was looking for uh, is not on a dealer lot. So I was able to find one in Chicago. I booked it for 11 o'clock. Now looks like I'm gonna arrive at 12 approximately. Hopefully host will wait for me. Let's go. this beauty it's a black Chevy Volt EUV trunk seems small but there's some more space cool This is the cheapest GM's electric vehicle, as far as I know. It's called Chevy Bolt EUV. It's like $35,000 fully loaded before any rebates. And there are rebates for 2023 with Chevrolet. Just look at this enormous screen. hours it charged like 90 miles from a regular household outlet 110 volt this is the level 2 charger but this one I get like 15 20 miles an hour and it costs me two bucks an hour to run it I am home now which means that it's time to summarize my trip so on Monday, I finished the delivery of Lava Rock. I left my parking lot in Chicago and went to Waterloo, Indiana, and broker paid for that load $1,800. Then I picked up a coil in Butler, Indiana, 
and I went to uh, De Pere, Wisconsin, which is a suburb of Milwaukee, and the broker paid for that load $1,600. Then I picked up a load in White Lake, Wisconsin, and I went to Springfield, Missouri. We delivered the flooring for a sparse complex, and broker paid for that load $16.50. Then I picked up a load in Perryville, Missouri, and I delivered it to Sussex, Wisconsin for $12.50. In total, I have made exactly the same gross as last week. It's $6,300, which makes my weekly paycheck $2,016. I worked four days and I've actually had half of the day available for myself on Thursday, which means that on average I was making $504 a day. My total trip was $1,900, which makes rate per mile for my paycheck is $1.06. So I think this was a pretty good short week. I can't wait to go back to work next week because I need to drive more than $1,900, but still, was quite a good time. Also, I bought a new toy for myself, which will make the quality of my vlogs better. Uh, this is a new DJI Mavic 3 Mini Pro. I really like this model because it has a follow feature, which is gonna make my job easier. I'm gonna be able to make uh, right turns with my semi-truck easier, so I can see traffic and if I'm hitting something or not. Just to be safe, this drone has plenty of sensors. It's supposed to detect the branch behind. Like, I'm not using a controller right now. It's just avoiding obstacles by itself. And this is my daughter, Dahlia. <laughs> my little princess. She's a little scared of a drone, but she's curious about it too. Yep. I will see you guys next week, it's gonna be fun. Please like this video, I would appreciate your comment, tell me what would you like me to show you in the next vlogs, and consider subscribing, this way you can follow my channel and you will see my adventures in the future. See you, bye bye.